Hey guys, Shreyan this side. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have Manish with us. So welcome Manish and thank you for accepting the uh, podcast request first, man. Uh, thank you so much, Shreyan, for having me on the podcast. <laughs> so could you please share a little bit about yourself, like uh, from when you pass out to what currently you are doing? Okay, so first of all, uh, thank you so much for inviting me here. Um, like, uh, I graduated from Heritage Institute of Technology, Kolkata. Mm -hmm. After that, I started my uh, career at Oracle, like where I worked as on a core engineering project and built a strong foundation in the full stack development. And after that, I joined Amazon as SD1, uh, which gave me a great experience and exposure on building a scalable backend system at global scale. Like even though I was uh, I was there for a short time, like uh, the experience was extremely valuable and the opportunity. And then after I got an opportunity at Goldman Sachs uh -huh. to step into uh, SD2 role, uh, where I could take on on the bigger ownership and responsibilities in the domain. So each move has been about growth, learning, and increasing impact. Like as I can create it as an engineer. So, so which year you passed out from college? Uh, it, it was 2022. 2020. And so, uh, okay. So you were all in, uh, so in Oracle, how many years and in Amazon, how many years? So in Oracle, I was about 2.6 years, 2.6 mm -hmm. or seven years. And uh, after that at Amazon, I was about five months, five months. Okay. And, uh, now you got the new opportunity, uh, Goldman Sachs. So. Yeah. If you don't mind, can I ask, like, uh, is it like you got a better opportunity or in Amazon, there is certain team changes, uh, reshuffling or this or all happening? No, no, like it was not like that. Like at Amazon, I worked on a like literally meaningful backend system. Uh, but at Goldman, I got an opportunity to take mm -hmm. like end to end ownership of a okay. critical system in the financial domain. So I wanted to take the role where I could, like, I could have more impact and responsibility in early career, uh, my, early in my career. So that's why I chosen uh, this. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. So what is the tech stack you were working in all, like, uh, combining Oracle and Amazon? So at Oracle, when I joined from college, I was working on JavaScript, Node.js, React.js. Mm. But, uh, and I was an associate consultant when I joined. So like my project was like used to over in three months or suppose some project used to over at six months. So not working particularly in particular product. I was working for clients. Mm. So after that, when I like after some time of spent in Oracle, I asked with my manager, manager for Java project, Java and Spring Boot. So from there onward, my Java and Spring Boot career started and uh, I started learning Java and Spring Boot from there onwards. And from now till then, no. like, I'm working on Java and Spring Boot and AWS. Awesome. 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 Okay. So yes, I think you have very recent, uh, like Amazon also experience plus Goldman Sachs also. So yeah, we'll like to go from the Oracle. Then I would say that, okay, you were in Oracle. So how did you able to switch to Amazon? What was your roadmap preparation then? So this was the literally interesting part of this, my uh, journey till now. So like when I was at Oracle after one year and a half year, I realized that I need to switch from this particular company. So from there onwards, the most typical and tough part was starting DSA again. So mm -hmm. that was the critical challenge. So like we used to go to office and after coming to office, it was literally very tough to sit back and again learn. So in initial few months, like I will say days, like it was very tough for me to come from office and sit for like DSA. So I have taken uh, cyber seats and uh, need uh, 975 questions. Mm -hmm. So in college days, I have done few few questions, but not as much as I have done in the this last one and a half year. So I just started with the cyber seats, and I used to solve in the starting days. I used to solve two to three questions per day, like two to three questions per day, and just building my uh, thinking capacity. So, uh, as I said that after one and a half year, I turned switch to Java. So, uh, from there on what I practicing DSA with Java and Spring Boot side by side. Mm. So that time I was learning Java and Spring Boot from your YouTube mm -hmm. channel and you have given a really good content there. Okay. So at early morning, I used to do two, three questions. And at evening, when I used to come from office, I do used to do that Spring Boot, uh, projects side by okay. side. So, so which project do you choose to build like just for learning? 
e-commerce project I was I was doing. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So when you started actually giving interviews, also. Oh, like yeah. So from October two thousand twenty-four, I. Believe I remember that date because uh, some critical things was happening at that time. But uh, I, I hope everyone knows that recession was at the peak and like like, like interview was not like earlier before. Like no, not only DSA they used to ask many things now. LLD is also in the SD one interviews. So I have to prepare prepared for everything. So I went through uh, from October onwards I believe, and I was doing DSA first. Mm-hmm. And then after I moved to Java and Spring Boot, and then I went to system design, low level design from there onwards. Okay, and interview. Uh, so, so currently you are in only preparation phase, like uh, two yeah. three months. I was preparing and I was applying for all the companies because mm-hmm. what I believe, like it's my opinion, like what I believe is like rejection is also a learning thing. Mm-hmm. So I just thought to give interviews, whatever matters, and whenever suppose uh, today is first and. My interview is scheduled on tenth. My learning growth was uh, increasing rapidly mm. because in my mind there was that my interview is on tenth, so I need to prepare hard for that. Mm. So that also gave me so much confidence on that part. Correct, correct. If you have seen like lot of AI things, like okay, they will replace software engineers. They will do this thing. Have they anything asked? Have you worked? Like with an AI in your past company, I'm just saying when you switch from Amazon to uh, Goldman Sachs, also anything mm-hmm. to face something like that, right? No, 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 not at all. Like in yeah. my case, it was not there. They, it was purely backend questions they were asked, Correct. and like DSA and uh, more regarding system design and to how you will scale it, latency and all these questions. Not regarding that. Okay, so DSA, Java, Spring Boot, system design. So have you kept it same while you switch from Oracle to Amazon and Amazon to Goldman Sachs or something uh, later after five months you add it uh, differently? Yeah. So as I said that I was looking for a job role which is like which give me responsibility for end to end critical system which mm-hmm. I can handle uh, individually. So and more, I wanted to work on system design apart from coding. So like coding will be there, but I want to work on system design part more. So there, I got an opportunity from SDE too. In that period, I was at the flow only of the interviews. Like my interview was not stopped when I joined Amazon. So I was in the flow only. I never stopped. And my uh, like more interviews were scheduled at that period of time. So at being at Amazon and working at Amazon, giving interviews is tough because the time limit is very less. So at that period, I used to do like suppose I have two interviews or three interviews, so I need to keep keep in one or two days. Suppose I used to take Thursday or Friday. Suppose I need to take a leave on particular day, and in, because I was looking for a role which suits me in longer period of time, so okay. for that reason I was doing that. Yeah. So and how did you prepare your uh, system design as you move from SD one to SD two? Definitely, you said that. Uh, You started learning system design also. So, how did you learn it? What was your approach of uh, learning uh, those? So, my learning thing was like I first went through pattern part. Like I seen all the patterns, like uh, what are builder pattern, factory pattern, and all the pattern which we use in our daily life. So, and then after I related to my code, like own mm-hmm. code of the system, like how how they have written, how mm-hmm. they are working on that part. So and now GPT is there. So I used to learn from GPT as an example. Can you show like how you write this pattern and that pattern? So from there onwards, and I used to see your YouTube channel there, and in your channel you've given you've given in very nice way. Like this pattern is there. After that one question of suppose parking lot. After the again some few questions. Then after some questions. So that helped me a lot in that particular. Like I subscribed to your YouTube channel. I think on uh, before joining. Amazon two to three months back. Okay. And now I am there, so I used to get learning. You okay. used to post content each and every after few days. So yeah. Okay. So so I have one question. You can answer this in the percentage wise. Right. Currently, my understanding is that from Oracle, you got to into Amazon, you got got salary hike maybe thirty percent, forty percent, something. From Amazon to Goldman Sachs. What do you get a good hike like? Because I think it's a generally company wise. If any discuss happen, it's generally mm-hmm. reverse order. Oracle, mm-hmm. Goldman Sachs, and then person's dream is to grow to Amazon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now since this uh, is you are already in Amazon, 
does Goldman Sachs able to give you good high? So like yeah, from Oracle, I said I was an associate consultant. I prom promoted to a staff consultant. So uh, from there onward to Amazon. my hype was related to almost 120% exactly okay. yeah mm. from consulted to amazon yeah so at amazon to goldman if i have to say like i have asked for little less mm. but because i i switched just now and five months i'm getting sd2 role but i cannot ask like i will consider my oracle salary only mm -hmm. i will not say my amazon salary my, uh, in my mind i am saying mm -hmm. so but uh, good enough i got 80% around mm -hmm. from amazon to goldman so i asked for around 30 40% but they gave 80% around oh acha you asked less but they gave gave yeah. high so they wanted to match the standard of their company so oh, is nice. d2 is d1 to is d2 so that's why okay okay okay, yeah. okay so you you specifically applied for sd1 or sd2 only like after your interview they uh, increase the level okay they increase the level they have increased the level okay okay you applied for sd1 role but uh, they increase the yeah. level okay nice man okay so what's your negotiation trick generally so like let me to be very very honest wo matlab jab aap interview doge to aapko mm -hmm. andar se pata rahega ki kaisa gaya interview almost yeah. aapko matlab thoda idea hai ki kaisa gaya interview so when you say to the suppose i am at 6 suppose example and i have asked for 12 mm -hmm. okay but you need to mention that i am open for negotiable if mm -hmm. you are saying at the higher end of salary you need to say that i am open mm -hmm. uh, for negotiable because they don't want like they have a very high uh, principles they don't want to go regarding that thing so i think it's better to say open to negotiable let's hmm. discuss the salary on that part and i think uske baad normal ho jata hai matlab correct they also want ki agar aap interview acha diye ho to they want to onboard you correct, so correct. they will not to the good candidate so yeah. of course and initially i would say that like do research from uh, online glass store blind so oh, whatever the salary range they have mentioned right i have uh, double check for many of my friends and mine and other colleagues also like engineers at all it's very nearby and very close so you can uh, use that number in your negotiation initially that this is the upper line of the bar and then you can open it's a negotiable so that uh, i would like to add top of that like uh, suppose someone is sitting at 10 just example and at glass door it's saying its average range is 10 to 15 and you are asking 18 what i believe like you can go for it if your interview has gone well like uh, in my case it has happened and i believe for others also it will be happening so because yeah. it's a average number so if your interview has gone well and suppose you are sitting at 12 or 13 and the average cap is showing 13 to 15 you can go little higher also right. depending upon your interview yeah. i one thing you mentioned that like you are getting lot of job opportunities like from last one one and a half years and during the last five months it's the number increases interview count increases how you are bringing the companies in because that is a major challenge most of the engineers are facing that how to schedule an interview how to get my resume shortlist okay so yeah this is also a very critical part like i have six to seven friends in bangalore who are in different different organization and good organizations so when i was uh, applying for uh, amazon my resume was not getting selected not only amazon nowhere as my resume was getting selected because my resume was from that college period of time so i need to update my resume so i went to overleaf i took advice from all my friends that how they have built their resume and i have combined all the things from them and then after i uh, made a research of on uh, youtube like ki kaun sa keyword dalna sahi hai kaun sa gpt se help kiya ki kaun sa line dalna sahi hai suppose i have worked on java and spring boot aur main ye kaam kiya hu suppose i used to mention it to chat gpt ki thoda isko aap elaborate karke de sakte ho kya ats friendly bana sakte ho kya to wo karne ke baad जब मैं उसके बाद डाला फिर लिंक इन प्रोफाइल को बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग किया मतलब लिंक इन प्रोफाइल पे बहुत काम किया आई टूक हेल्प फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड हु यूज टू हेल्प मी रिगार्डिंग लिंक इन कैसे स्ट्रॉन्ग करना है कैसे वहां पे सब चीजें ऐड करनी है एंड आफ्टर दैट वेरी ऑनेस्टली आई एम सेइंग लाइक आफ्टर दैट आई यूज टू गेट कॉल्स फ्रॉम बिग बिग एम एनसीज लाइक पार्ट एप्पल ऑल द रिक्रूटर यूज टू रीच आउट आफ्टर दैट एंड आई पोस्टेड द रिज्यूम आफ्टर दैट सो Which helped me a lot on th in that case कि मतलब उसके बाद से calls आने बंद नहीं हुए मतलब एक बार update हो गया LinkedIn से ही you got all the opportunities yes yes, yes. 
so all the opportunities okay so you were not applying uh, actively you were getting uh, likewise i was applying actively on nokri.com and uh, in the, but i was not getting calls from there Achha. but once i updated my linkedin and uh, made a good resume out of it then after when i used to send emails to uh, uh, recruiters and i used to get numbers from someone here friends and so if some one of my friend is in good company so i used to send a referral that can you please hmm. refer me here so wo kafi help kiya but mujhe lagta hai ki sabse important hai linkedin update karke rakhna kyunki linkedin se matlab jitne calls mujhe abhi tak aaye hain jitne bhi bade bade mncs se wo mostly sare linkedin se hi hain anything you want to suggest other engineers like uh, who have let's say currently short time in their interview hmm. less than a month i would say what do you suggest based on your experience yeah so first i will start with saying that there is difference between like motivation and discipline like you need to be very very discipline on that part like after office or before office if you need to study you need to study it you need to be very very discipline on that part motivation will come suppose some of your friends switch from one your your own organization then motivation will suddenly come that i have to study i have to study but that will not work out you need to be very discipline what you are working on so if i have to advise i would break it in break it down into like three main areas like i will say first focus on fundamentals like data structures algorithms and uh, problems uh, solving because because that's really get tested in the interviews and second strength will be your system design and uh, like how the real world engineers thinking like even at junior level like understanding at scalability is apis and how the system interact like not just coding part you just need to understand like how the system interact with it and the third is like don't ignore that particular soft co- soft code is like i will say like communication a uh, communication and clarity of thoughts and like being able to explain your approach is the main part in whole the interview so yeah this is what and what i believe i used i have written my quotes here and um i used to say that like uh, to my friends as well like uh, in hindi it is like jo main kal tha wo aaj main hu nahi aur aaj jo main hu wo kal main rahunga nahi so keep working hard in discipline way some day will come like jahan pe aap pura prepared rahenge sare cheezon ke liye aur sare stars align honge aur aap crack kar loge interview ko correct correct so, uh, if you don't mind can i share your linkedin profile into the description section because yeah, like yeah. you mentioned uh, that you have made some changes into the resume the keyword part also on the linkedin profile like anybody want to see your linkedin profile how does it looks like now okay and if they want to uh, seek some help also they might directly contact you on the linkedin and you can help them like okay this is all i do into my linkedin profile and if they resume if they want some help in the resume part also so they can directly reach out to you sure sure be yeah, sure okay cool thanks thanks a lot and uh, thanks for sharing all this info thank you again thank you so much for having me here again yeah. thank you